Have you ever felt the need to use makeup but you're scared that it may look too much on you? I have. I was not endowed with a clear skin so I struggled so much in making my skin naturally clear using makeup. But skincare is a pillar of makeup. The first thing that I do after I cleanse my face is scrub my lips using honey and sugar. Exfoliation is needed by your lips too. The next is I tone my skin using SK2's cleansing lotion. It is important to remove all the remaining dead skin cells to make the skincare effective. And with SK2's facial treatment essence, I love to use it with a compressed mask so that I can maximize the usage of the Patera complex for a younger, clearer, and healed skin. After soaking the mask with the essence, apply it on your face and wait for 15 minutes so that the Patera goodness is absorbed by your skin. Then after 15 minutes, remove the mask and use the remaining essence on your neck and other areas. For my eye bags and dark circles, eye cream is a must. With this SK2 Stem Power Eye Cream loaded with great anti-aging ingredients. And now with my acne scars, I lighten them using the SK2's Whitening Power Spot Specialist. And I knuckle these scars to disperse the melanin for faster lightening effect. Of course, moisturizer is important like SK2's RNA Power Cream to keep the skin balanced, smooth, and to prevent aging. Now with makeup, I will use minimal amounts so I love to mix my SK2 R Activator CC Cream and Salumination Aura Essence. It already has SPF 50 PA++++ in it so no need to use a sunblock. This combination gives you a healthy glow but it is a little bit fair for most people so I recommend that you add a bit of a darker shade of foundation. It does not have that much coverage so I'm going to conceal my blemishes and eye bags using my corrector palette from Catrice. And since my skin gets super oily throughout the day, I set it with my Palladio Rice Powder in Natural. Just lightly feather it on top of everything. And for my Mona Lisa brows, I love to use a powder form from LOL because it is the most natural looking. Just lightly apply it on the sparse areas. Then taking a natural light brown shadow from Pinky's collection, I apply it on my crease just to reduce the appearance of my puffy lids. And with the brown liner from Nishido, use it to tight line my upper waterline to make my lashes look fuller. Don't forget to smudge the harsh edges. And apply some below to make your eyes appear larger. I'm using Lancome here to curl my lashes and a thin coat of mascara from Clinique. You can skip this step, but since I lack lashes, I'm putting on natural half lashes. Now I'm gonna use this super cute cream blush from Sakuraya to achieve that naturally flushed cheeks. Next step is matte bronzer to add definition on my skin because contour is my best friend. And now for the lips, I am only using a lip and cheek tint from Tony Moly in Delight. Apply on the center and spread it with your finger, and then top it off with Baby Lips from Maybelline. So far, so clear. And for the final step, get that dewy skin by using the SK2 Illumination Aura Essence by dabbing it on the highest areas of your face. And now with the hair. I have a very kinky hair. But I had it rebonded, so I want to recreate that naturally curly hair with these bendy rollers that I applied last night. So I am using here my SP Lux Oil Serum from Wella to smoothen my hair and it will repel humidity from weighing down on your hair. And you are done! No matter how much makeup you wear, the real you is what matters the most. Never mind the stereotypes, be creative, be happy with yourself. Makeup or not, you are still hot. Thank you so much for being with me and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. 